Okay, this guy is a uh, Bank One Sensor One, and uh, this guy is Bank One Sensor Two. So I was able to get it off this metal piece just like that. You know, that's how this thing went back into Sensor One, Sensor Two. You know, kind of uh, remove that, and I think I need to put a clamp clamp behind this so I can pull this out so it's uh, much easier to handle than uh, that, that. that's how I got this uh, off this hole here okay put a, put a flyer to clamp this down from behind here and then be able to pull this out up here and now this one is still Try to separate these two, this one and this one, by by squeezing this down harder and pull um, separate the two. And that's what I'm doing. Let me tell you what I. Okay, so this is what I did. This is my um, uh, Nissan Pathfinder. This is uh, the top one, which uh, um, was like this. Uh, it hooked in there, just like that. Um, there we go. Let me try to put it back in. Uh, the uh, bank two sensor away. That's the bank two sensor. This is the bank one. So it was uh, located uh, like this. Okay, and then there's a clip. See that plastic uh, clip? You know, I had to use my uh, flat screwdriver to push it down and then push it back in. But, uh, you know, basically I undo this thing by push it down, push that down, and then pull, pull forward, to push, pull, pull it out, and once I did that, I moved this uh, bank one sensor one to the, the top one to the, to the side, so this way I can work on this the bank one uh, sensor one so this is bank one sensor two and you can see this little thing I just pressed down and then it will go back in but so what I did was I just pushed this clip downwards and then pull this um, totally out and with this uh, plug still connected it I did was let's, uh, put this back in. Uh, it's pretty hard, so press down this green tab and pull. But I just um, pull this. So what I did was, as you, as you can see, I actually kind of break the, the back by inserting um, the Phillips screwdriver here, and then I just gradually turn this 90 degrees to push this out as well as I push this out so I did a little bit this way and then a little bit of this way I also flip this thing to the back and then uh, did it and did it insert the screwdriver this way and turn it and then eventually this thing just pop open and you can see a lot of dirt and this is this is the the thing that um, this this plastic uh, protruding uh, thing is what prevent uh, the two from separating, and uh, you can see there's a little um, little thing here. You know, once you push the green thing down, that thing is supposed to lift up. But the, let me let me do this. Pull, push this green tab down and you can see this is not even budging this lip is not even budging it should tilt up to um, to um, let go of this protruding thing and then you know it can come out but it won't 
it, it didn't. So what, the only thing I could do was to insert a, a, you know, a screwdriver. Let me show you again. You know, like like this. You know, it, it was like totally. Um, yeah, I don't want to push it back in because it's hard to get it out. But you get the idea. So basically, this this um, gap is very small, and I just insert my Phillips screwdriver and then turn slowly turn and then insert it into here and slowly turn from you know parallel to 90 degrees to kind of push this plug um, out to the right and then eventually uh, with enough um, with enough um, you know poking it and, and eventually these two just you know came out separate so what I'm gonna test now is the to see if there's any um, if there's any ohms and if there's any um, what do you call that the uh, current from here because this is this go back to the exhaust and uh, this goes to the 12 volts so I'm going to check to see if there's any 12 volts in here um, yeah, and that's the bank one sensor one and I don't the, the engine code is T0140 so it says it's bank one sensor two so which is that you know so i'm not gonna do, uh, worry anything about this part here here is the protruding thing that prevents the two uh, from separating and there are four um four um connector uh in there four males in there That's four females and uh two of them is po uh, one is positive one is negative and the other two i don't know but I'm gonna test the. Um, I'm gonna test the. Um, take out my uh, voltmeter, voltmeter, and, and check the voltage. Make sure there's voltage in going into this. Uh, uh, okay. This um, is the female plug that um, con that's connected it to the battery, and uh, this one is the male plug that goes down to the oxygen sensor and as you can see the hole was right here the line was uh, fixed uh, here but I removed it now um, I put the multimeter to uh, 20 volts DC I'm gonna try to see if there's any uh, voltage and uh, here we go so I plug into one of the four and I just touch the um, the uh, engine the negative just touched the engine block here and there's still nothing so let's see and I did turn on the uh, ignition key there we go see that so this is when you look at what's the green tap on top and the bottom right and you can see there is the reading 11.46 volts you know I'm touching the body of the um, of the um, there we go of the um, engine block you can see there 11.47 volts you know so that tells me there is a uh, voltage input by the way the ignition key is on okay so that tells me um, there is um, uh, voltage into the oxygen sensor. Two hundred ohm. Okay, and uh, we should see about four ohms. Two to four ohms. Let's see. Nothing. Nothing. Wait. Thought I got something. Ah. Thought I got something. There we go. So it's about 4.6 ohms. 4.5 ohms when I connect these to uh, the diagonal. And this is the top. This is the top, and uh, I'm connecting the the uh, the diagonal. Um, so maybe it's two and three. So.
so 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 this is funny because in this case that means this um, oxygen sensor is uh, working it's not broken see 4.7 4.6 ohms that's interesting interesting now I'm continuity so I turn my uh, multimeter from uh, 200 ohms to uh, continuity here and I should be getting nothing from uh, from this uh, mail plug you know from any terminal I should be getting no current all right that's no current that's no current there's no current so interestingly everything is no current so I don't think I don't think uh, my oxygen sensor bank 2 is broken that's weird you know because uh, everything is working it's interesting. Hmm.